Hello, and thank you for applying to the Integrated Interventional Radiology Residency at Emory University. My name is Bill Magellani, and I am the Program Director for the IR Integrated and Independent Residencies. While we wish we could be meeting you in person, unfortunately, the current circumstances dictate that this still remains in virtual format. I hope that you can glean our culture from these photos where we are collegial inside and outside of the IR suite in learning situations, celebrating victories, and celebrating each other's birthdays. We're a fun group. We like to have fun inside the IR suite as well as out. We have one of the largest radiology departments in the country with three residency programs comprising over 70 trainees, nine fellowship programs comprising 30 plus trainees, and are led by our chair, Dr. Carolyn Meltzer, Vice Chair of Education, Mark Mullins, and Diagnostic Radiology Program Director, Chris Ho. <clears throat> the IR division is led by Dr. Janice Newsom and comprises greater than 25 faculty, greater than 15 APPs, and we accept four integrated IR residents a year. This is complemented by up to three ESIRs a year and six independent IR residents a year through the match. Our IR residency uh, education leadership team, in addition to myself, is comprised of Drs. Nima Kakabi, Zach Burku, Chris Ho, and Mohamed Loya, as well as our program coordinator, Renita McDowell. We graduated our first IR resident in June 2021 and are expecting to graduate another this year. After that, all the residents who started matching with us in, 2020, in 2017, um, including our class, a current class of PGY-5s, will be uh, matching, uh, will be graduating at the expectation of four trainees a year, as we have four in the PGY-5, four, three, and two year. In addition to our 2020 IR match, which also had four fantastic trainees. In total, in the last five years, we've graduated 45 IRs. Of those 45, 14 have gone into primary academic positions, two into hybrid community-based teaching programs, and 30 into private practice. The integrated program is a six-year program. Our first full match at Emory was in March 2017 with four trainees per year. Our first graduate was in June 2021. And as I said, we also support other pathways with three ESIRs a year and six independent trainees a year. The overall curriculum is front-loaded with more diagnostic radiology and increasing amounts of interventional radiology as the trainee becomes more senior in the program. The yellow blocks are IR-based rotations with some degree of variability and increasing blocks in the more junior years expected over time. Centrally, we pride ourselves on our diversity, which is a pillar of our strength. We have one of the largest faculty bases in the country, and our faculty come from 15 different training programs. So you don't only learn one way of how to do something, you learn up to 15 different ways of how to do the same thing. This is a central pillar of strength in IR and will make you a better interventionalist in the future. Outside of work, we love spending time together, whether we're celebrating at the Super Bowl, at the SIR Gala, or our trainees' graduations. We're a fun group who like to hang out and enjoy each other's company. Teaching is a core principle of what we do with greater than 150 dedicated IR uh, education sessions a year, cross-departmental lectures, multidisciplinary tumor boards and clinics, which you will attend, the Atlanta Interventional Radiology Society or the Atlanta Angio Club airs, uh, which is a quarterly meeting of all the interventionalists in the metro Atlanta area. In addition to international IR education that we have been leading in Tanzania, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Israel, Egypt, South Africa, Georgia, the country, not just the state, and additional sites. Moreover, we partner with our colleagues at Georgia Tech to drive innovation education. And Georgia Tech is really one of the 
leaders in biomedical engineering, where we have these close working relationships of shared professorships. It's steps away from our Midtown campus. And also we have a close working relationship with the Georgia Center for Medical Robotics. This has led to multiple successful collaborations as well as PATS. Building on our diversity, your training isn't a singular location, which is to say that we aren't only an ivory tower university program or only a VA program or only an inner city hospital or only a fill in the blank. We provide you training in different settings. And as that trainee, you will be seeing patients who come from a different backgrounds, the presentation of disease processes at different stages and in different situations. This will make you better. At present, we have 18 angiography suites across our campuses, and within three years, we're projecting to have greater than 25 angiography suites. Let's go through each of our campuses that you're going to primarily spend your training at. They're very good looking overall. Emory University Hospital, or Clifton, is a 730-plus bed quaternary hospital, consistently one of the best hospitals in U.S. News and World Report, and a national leader in organ and bone marrow transplant, hepatobiliary and hepatology, CT surgery, as well as oncology at Winship Cancer. This is one of the few campuses in the world that offers Mars therapy. Emory Midtown Hospital at present has 511 beds. This is Emory Center for Sickle Cell Disease and Sage Renal Disease, as well as Emory's Labor and Delivery and NICUs. They've already broken ground on a new cancer tower, which is going to add over 150 additional beds and 18 floors and multiple new IR suites. This is projected to open in 2023. Grady Memorial Hospital is a legendary hospital with nearly 1,000 beds. It's a level one trauma center covering a 100 plus mile radius and is a national, if not international, leader in trauma, burn, stroke, and the neurosciences. Children's Hospital of Atlanta, or CHOA, at present is a 255-bed facility. It's the largest pediatric practice in Georgia, which offers heart, kidney, and liver transplant, as well as vascular anomaly clinics, and is one of the best children's hospitals consistently in the U.S. News & World Report. Even more exciting is the growth of the new CHOA, which is currently under construction and is projected uh, to be completed in the next one to two years and is going to dramatically increase the footprint availability of services and pediatric practice to project to an even larger number of patients. Emory St. Joe's is a 400 plus bed hospital in Atlanta's longest serving hospital. This has a high clinical volume of kyphoplasty, arterial and vascular intervention, P, PE thrombolysis, where we are a part of the PERT team, as well as all offerings related to interventional oncology. It's a well-rounded rotation and hospital and very much appreciated by our trainees. The Atlanta VA is a 400 plus bed hospital, level 1A uh, tertiary VA center, covering 50 plus counties and over 130 VA patients. It's both a primary teaching hospital for Emory School of Medicine as well as Morehouse School of Medicine. Our procedural volume, excluding the VA and Grady, has been on a consistent upward trajectory. We stopped in 2019 uh, due to COVID-related uh, factors. Our 2020 numbers um, were relatively uh, stable but as we have recovered from COVID, our numbers continue to increase and we hope to provide those numbers for you on interview day. Atlanta as a city is a thriving metropolitan uh, and wonderful place to live with over 6 million uh, residents. It's the ninth largest metro in the US and is growing. It has a moderate four season climate with minimal to no snow, great restaurants, cultural and historic attractions, festivals, as well as sports. In general, our trainees make above $60,000 a year at the PGY-1 level, $65,000 at the PGY-2 level. This is as of 2022. And $60,000 or $65,000 in Atlanta certainly goes a lot further than it does in many other metro areas throughout this country. With that 
buying power, you'll be able to enjoy all of the culture offerings, including the Georgia Aquarium, Botanical Gardens, Opera, Ballet, Symphony, Theater, the High Museum of Art, as well as athletic offerings in the Peachtree 10K and multiple great hiking and biking routes. Sports are plentiful throughout the Atlanta Metro with all major sports represented, including the Atlanta Braves, Falcons, Hawks, Atlanta United, as well as Georgia Tech and University of Georgia close by. As a city, Atlanta hosted the Olympics in 1996, the Cultural Ball National Championship in 2018, the Super Bowl in 2019, and the NCAA Men's Final Four in 2020. This is the place to be if you want to enjoy great sports. I hope I've convinced you that Emory is a wonderful training program. It's very well-rounded, that Atlanta is a great place to live, and most importantly, that our people are the type of people that you want to be with for the next five years, learn from, and enjoy lifelong relationships with. We'll be happy to take any questions that you have throughout the interview. It's been our pleasure to be with you.